Hi, this is Saturday the 29th, and of a shorter week, lighter volume for the second half of the week. I just looked at, the, at last week's video and I said, well, there's that pennant over there, where basically that strong resistance level and this channel. So there was a chance of a more abrupt move either way. It didn't occur, and that's maybe because it's this typical time of the year, uh, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and basically everything has been on hold and what could or should happen will only be sometime next week. The market is really overstretched, very much overbought on longer time frames. So yes, the timing was probably slightly off last week, but it's still in the cards. The 3125 has been deeply penetrated on longer time frames those things happen. I mean, we just have to accept that the, these levels, as a matter of fact, um, need to be tested when they are broken, tested for support before we, the market actually gauges um, which direction to take. And I do believe this grinding up could last a bit longer. If we look at this pennant, you know, we could grind higher. Of course, the 3190 FIB expansion target and if we look at short time frames, without going into detail, uh, markets are of quantic nature, and, and that's technical. But generally, even though it looks messy, noisy, the market tend to stabilize around key levels. And the gaps are at the moment about 40 points wide, with a possible stop about 20, for 20 points. So 31.25, could and actually did um, uh, hover and congest around 3145 and 3150. It could go to 3160 and maybe even hit that 3190 at some point. This is crazy, but you know, the markets are just what they are. So I can't discard the market pushing higher to those levels. That said, on other indicators that you can't see here, and as a matter of fact, I should switch off my strategy here. This strategy I uh, probably will publish at some point. It's actually a pretty good strategy. As you can see the liquidity curve is pretty good. But that's not the point of this discussion. So let's make it clear here. So we are uh, long. It's, a, it's a, a fairly weak long and that's in line with this grinding up market. And uh, as I said last week, uh, sometimes the, the good signals come up a little bit too early and this could happen again this time. So this was kind of a forewarning, a last bout of selling, and um, now I, I, I suspect that for any reason, it could be only technical, it could be that the sales level on Black Friday, Cyber Monday are not looking as good as expected, there may be some news, but it's gonna be mostly technical. And I anticipate at least some consolidation, or at least going from Bullish congestion to congestion and maybe some bearish congestion. There's no indication the market is going to uh, fall to these levels, but I wouldn't be surprised if on breaking 3125 and maybe the 3100, the market starts dipping and trying to find support where buyers would come back. So to cut this long story short, a lot should be happening early in the week. This bullish trend is still quite valid. Now, the, where is it going to stop? I would think the market would definitely need to find some support. If you look at uh, COT, co Commitment of Traders on Longer Time Frame, I would think that there, there's some indication that the, the hedges are coming back. I, I'm not showing the VIX here, but the VIX is also very hesitant on the 11.50, 12 level. Will it crash? In other words, could we have uh, what we've seen um, in 2017, early 2018, a volatility crush um, affecting for those who trade options, affecting ATM puts, for example? I don't see that happening, but it is something that is that could happen. So we would have a melt up to 3190 or above. In any case, the decision point is coming. We can't really analyze too much, read too much into the last few days because it was 
basically half a week trading but a decision has to come and it's gonna be by midweek okay I'm sorry this is not any clearer but we had a little information little new information this past week so for those who subscribe to, to my alert service um, I think those uh, daily updates will be uh, quite important uh, needless to say that our trades are all quite safe and for those who trade the Rhino style or something similar it is time to enter February soon and this is not exactly a great time in terms of volatility but it should be doing okay anyway I'm talking too much so please comment thumbs up thumbs down your feedback is always appreciated in any case have a great weekend and for those on the alert service see you on slack bye for now